Um, members, we've got one more bill to do, and we're just going to lay the bill over. We're not going to take any action on the bill. Uh, we're just going to hear a presentation. If we can go through a quick presentation of House File 2844, I'll move the bill just to get the bill before us, and then uh, we'll lay the bill over for possible consideration at a later date. Mm -hmm. We're almost out of time, folks, and uh, I think uh, maybe there's some members that want to get to the deer hunters function, so uh, maybe we can be quick. Thank you. Please uh, state your name and who you represent for the record. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Uh, my name is Bob Welsh. I am the uh, uh, Section of Wildlife Operations Manager with the Department of Natural Resources. Mr. Chair, members, for the record, Lou Cornicelli, uh, Wildlife Research Manager with DNR. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I hate to be the one to stand between people and dinner, so I will go very quickly. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, 2844, give you a quick overview of the six sections in the bill. Uh, section number one um, pertains to non-resident uh, under age 16 youth uh, attending camp and, and fishing. This simplifies the process to allow for non-resident youth under age 16 that are attending a camp in Minnesota from out of state uh, and, and, and enables them to fish without a license just like our, non, or just like our residents six, uh, under 16 youth. Currently a document is required from the commissioner to um, authorize the, the camp to um, enable that youth to fish without a license. This would enable this to be taken care of at the local level by the camp. Section two, hunting with bows released by mechanical devices. This is uh, largely a technical fix to clarify that persons um, age 60 and over can use a crossbow as archery equipment without a permit by adding this uh, uh, exception to 97B.035 in addition to the provision that was previously provided in 97B.037. Section three, possession of firearms and ammunition restricted in deer zones. Uh, last year a provision was inserted into 97B.041 um, that created for uh, a warning for a first violation of the uh, prohibition of possessing a firearm and ammunition um, in a deer zone um, from a period five days before the season through two days after the season. Um, this adds the provision that uh, uh, the warning applies if the individual um, is shooting, uh, uh, shooting at a target. Section four, feeding bears. Uh, this provision prohibits feeding by hand or other physical contact with bears to address public safety concerns with wild bears that are potentially habituated to human contact. Section five, restriction on certain motorized decoys. Currently, motorized decoys for waterfowl hunting um, are prohibited during the first eight days of the waterfowl season. This would remove that restriction, but retains the restriction on WMAs, state wildlife management areas, and uh, designated waters. And finally, section six, uh, beaver season. This provides a tool for the Sorry, this provides a tool for the Commissioner of uh, Natural Resources to close the south of uh, uh, fur bearer season in the event of an early thaw. This would prevent the take of poor quality fur and protect against incidental take of otters that may have pups. And uh, that thus concludes my comments. And if you have questions at this time, I'd be happy to entertain them. Questions, members? This will be the uh, basis for the game and fish bill that we're going to have. Uh, there's going to be some things that we're going to look at and add to it and uh, as we go through the process in the next couple of weeks of uh, this committee. So we're going to lay the bill over. Uh, if you have any questions right now, uh, we can address those. Okay, thank you very much for your testimony. Anybody else like to speak to this bill at this time? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Okay, with that, uh, I will lay over House File 2844 for possible inclusion or... Uh, um, at a, at a later date.